Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we would be seeing and what is Flink architecture and how does the Flink jobs work when you submit them. So this is a high level picture which I got from the documentation. Like the client is submitting the program here and it goes to the job manager and the job manager will have the resource manager as well. It can be Yarn or Mesos, whatever we want. And the job manager will talk to the resource manager and get the resources in, from the workers. And inside the workers is where we have the task managers. And inside the task managers, we have a thing called task slots. And these are the JVM process. And inside the task slots only, our code gets executed. And we'll see it more detailed one by step by step. Th these are the three major things which we need to know. One is a job manager acts as a master node responsible for job coordination and control manages resource allocation, job scheduling, checkpointing and state recovery. All this is taken care by job manager. Now what is a task manager? Operates as the worker nodes. So it is in the worker nodes. Executes the individual tasks like the actual code execution is done inside the task managers inside the task slots as a tasks and client is the one what we submitted. And now let's go into the deployment modes in Flink. Like in Spark we have the deployment mode hyphen hyphen master yarn uh, or mesos we have all those similarly here also we have the same kind of deployment modes here there are four deployment modes one is standard mode like for de de when we have the development and testing purpose on the local system we use standard mode uh, the flink cluster is deployed on a dedicated server or a vm so it can be a local system you you manually start the job manager and task manager process in the standalone mode next is yarn or mesos mode so yarn or mesos can be used for the resource allocation so these things handle the scheduling resource isolation and fault recovery and all of that whenever you want more resources the job manager will talk to the resource manager which is nothing but the yarn or mesos and get the more resources or else we have the kubernetes or containerized mode where you run all our jobs inside a container which we can use it through cloud or something. So Flink is deployed in a container managed by Kubernetes or other container orchestration platforms. Each component in the Flink cluster runs inside the container only in this container mode. So, and next we have a uh, cloud native mode as well. Inside the cloud native mode only we use this YARN or Mesos mode. Like if you want we can spin up the EMR or HD inside clusters from the cloud and inside which we can run the um, Flink jobs. So these are all the deployment modes. And now let's come to the job manager. A job manager is a blame of the Flink cluster. It is resp its responsibilities include job submission, execution, graph creation, and task scheduling, resource management, checkpointing, high availability, and recovery management. All these things are taken care by the job manager. So when you submit the job, first the job graphs gets created, right? When a job is submitted, the job manager parses the program into a job graph. The job graph is a high level abstract representation of the application data flow. So all our code is converted into a job graph jo and then the job graph is converted into an execution graph. Like uh, this execution graph is given to the task manager and inside the task manager, inside the task slots, this execution graph is split into tasks and executed over there. So the job manager determines the execution order of the task and assign them to the task manager. Communicates with that. So this job manager communicates with the resource manager and gets task slots for execution. Inside the task slots only the actual code gets executed. And it is responsible for checkpointing and the barriers. If you want to know what is checkpointing and what is barriers, you can watch my previous videos in the Flink. And it is responsible for high availability as well. In case if it fails, it takes the help of the zookeeper or some other uh, system and uh, immediately spins up another node. So that's an high level, the purpose of the job manager and the task manager uh, and the next is the task manager. Task managers are the worker nodes that execute the actual computation of the Flink application. So the, the responsibilities here are task execution, task slots, a JVM process, which I'll show you in the picture here. So here the, inside the task manager, we'll have the task slots and inside the task slots, the actual code gets executed and data exchange, state management and all those things. So each task manager executes one or more tasks which are subcomponents of Flink job. So task managers are divided into fixed number of task slots, each representing the portion of available resources. So as we said, inside the task manager, we have the task slots and inside those task slots, we have the actual code being executed. So like these task managers is, are responsible for managing the uh, data shuffling between the parallel tasks using network buffers. 
so it is responsible for handling communication between the upstream and downstream operators and the state and everything is stored in the state db local db or the rocks db and it's an external storage so that whenever the anything failure happens using the checkpointing um, or watermark it, it 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 can restore the store state now the next thing is tasks and operator chain so inside the task manager we have the task slots and inside which we have the uh, tasks and operator chain so what exactly is the task so e, like inside our code inside our flink code we have a methods like first we read the source then we apply some map then we apply some filter so here if you see each piece of operation is called as a task the key by window by application is one task the sync is one task source and map is one one task here and here if you see the source and map is together into one thing that's called operator chain so these two are executed in a, inside a single task so that's called operator chain so for suppose if you have map and filter so when you combine map and filter into a single uh, inside a single task so they are called operator chains so task and operator chains are central to flink's efficient execution model so what are operators represent individual transformation map filter reduce and all those things operators can maintain state for processing events over time so tasks are the execution units derived from operators so see the actual code execution is called tasks so each task is executed by a task manager and corresponds to a specific parallel instance so operator chaining flink chains multiple operators into a single task whenever possible chaining reduces the communication overhead and improves execution performance if there is shuffling or and all happening then it will be separate if there is no shuffling between those two tasks then they will be chained so when we have chain when when we have chained these two together so we we can avoid the communication over here right so flink decides to chain two or three they, if they can be chained into together then it can, it will be chained together or else it will be executed as a separate task only so now we we'll let's see task slots and resources so we saw right inside the task manager we have task slots and we'll let's see what exactly the task slots and resources in more detail so a task manager is a jvm process that runs on one or more sub tasks so a task manager is a jvm process which we know and inside the task manager or inside that jvm we have the multiple task slots a task slot is a portion of the task manager resources like memory allocation to run sub tasks so how task slots work each task slot will have a specific amount of memory if you see here for suppose this task manager uh, uh, has like 300 mb of ram then it is divided into three parts into three uh, as we have three task slots here so it is divided into three parts each task slot will have 100 mb of memory like that so there can be two options one slot per task manager or we can have multiple task slots for per task manager so if you see so by default flink splits into multiple task slots only if for the same job so now the, we'll see how the flink application executes on a level so first the job is submitted the user submits the job via the client now we saw like the job graph and the execution graph gets created the job manager converts the job into a job graph and then into a parallelized execution graph so we saw like once the job graph is created then the execution graph creates so and the difference between the job graph and the execution graph is like execution graph is just an high level graph of our uh, application or operator code but the execution graph is very detailed on how it has to execute on the task manager and then the resource allocation happens and then the task deployment happens and it starts executing so the checkpointing and all will be taken care in between that's it so this is how in a high level the flink application executes so as we already saw there are two different two main types of flink clusters one is a dedicated cluster and uh, next is a session cluster and what exactly the dedicated cluster is like per one job we'll have one cluster separately a dedicated cluster for a single flink application the main method runs directly on the cluster instead of the client and here everything is packaged into a jar and it executes on that specific cluster the setup works seamlessly with kubernetes allowing easy deployment so all resources are dedicated to a single flink application so whatever the resources we have in that cluster all are dedicated to that single flink application only and we use this when we have very critical scenarios where you don't want to your job failure and where it's an high important job then we use this kind of application cluster or else we can go with the session cluster where multiple jobs gets executed in a single cluster and the resources are are shared between the jobs 
a shared long running cluster that accepts jobs from multiple applications task manager slots are allocated when a job is submitted and released after the job finishes so there can be some resource crunch here when you have the session cluster but depends on our requirement we go with the application cluster or a session cluster so that's it this is an high level on how the flink works and the flink architecture that's it thank you so much for watching